topic is markdown. Markdown is any time we have a discount from a regular selling price. So a lot of times we'll have things like uh, like a sale, thirty percent off sale, uh, clearance sale. Where we're going to take a discount off something. We're also maybe looking at we have a product that's been scratched or dented. We have to discount it because people won't buy it at regular price. We might take a look at uh, at a promotional offer. Uh, there might be coupons. Anytime we're going to sell something for a lower price than what our regular selling price is. So when we're taking a look at a markdown, uh, first of all we'll look at it as a cash markdown. So the amount of our markdown, the, ca the cash amount, is going to be our regular selling price, the amount that we, we had before, minus our reduced selling price, the amount that we're actually selling it for. So the markdown amount that we have is S, the value that we have is a regular selling price, minus SR, SR, our reduced selling price. That's the mark amount of our markdown. When we're looking at markdown, so the rate of markdown is the amount of the markdown compared to the regular selling price. That's our rate of markdown. So this might look like something like 20% is our regular markdown. So if we had a product that had a regular selling price of $100, that would be $20 over $100 to be 20% off. So if we take a look at that, we look at what we had before, we have our, our regular amount is our selling price minus our, our regular selling price. We have a formula that says our Reduced selling price is then our regular selling price minus our discount. If we have a rate of discount then, we're going to say our reduced selling price is equal to our regular selling price minus some discount, we'll call it D, times our regular selling price. So our reduced price, regular selling price minus some Discount times the regular selling price. Well, if we do the manipulation like we did before, we can say SR is equal to S1 minus D. So we're going to take the S outside, 1 minus D on the inside. And if we look at it, this looks a lot like N is equal to L1 minus D that we saw in the previous section. What we're looking at here is basically we're saying we're calculating a new price based on a regular price, a full price, minus a discount. So here's our equation, a regular price, one minus rate of discount, just like what we had before. So doing an example of that, we have a product, regular selling price of $129, it's marked down at a rate of 30%. So we're going to take 30% off, so 30% off sale. What is the sale price, the reduced selling price? Well, do the analysis, regular price S, this is 129. The markdown rate is 30%, D, 30%, that's 0.3. And so what's reduced price? Well, our reduced price is simply our regular price, times 1 minus the discount, 1 times 129 times 1 minus 0.7, sorry, minus 0.3, 129 times 0.7, that's equal to, it's $90. Cents. Okay, so at sale price, so sale price is ninety dollars and thirty cents. It's a fairly simple example. Second thing is, we see where coupon gives you five dollars off a sixty-nine dollar power tool. What rate of markdown does it? does the coupon provide? So we're looking at two things here. First of all, we're going to do a cash discount, equation that we had before, 
and then we're going to calculate the rate of markdown. So first of all, cash discount. Our amount is five dollars. The regular price is sixty-nine dollars, and we're going to try. We're going to say find D. Well, first of all, we have the equation that says. Our cash discount is our regular price minus SR, our sell price, but well, we know that's five dollars. We can say our reduced price is our regular price minus the discount. So the reduced price is sixty-nine dollars minus five. That's equal to sixty-four dollars. So what rate of markdown does the coupon provide? Well, now we calculate the rate of markdown. So the reduced price is equal to the regular price, 1 minus D. You have to solve for the markdown. So first of all, you're going to divide both sides by S. Okay. So we get SR over S is equal to 1 minus D. To isolate the 1 minus D, we're going to add D to both sides and subtract off SR over S. So if SR over S plus D is equal to 1 minus D plus D. So those are going to cancel out. And then we get D is equal to 1 minus SR over S. Okay. So the rate of markdown that we're going to get our, our D, this is going to be 1 minus 64 over 69. Look at that. 1 minus 64 divided by 69. D is equal to 7.25%. So, in this case, we're solving for the dollar amount D, and then we're going to take that dollar amount to calculate the reduced price, and then use that to calculate our rate of discount. Third question, if you're advertisers, it costs $2.80 to create, and the markup the selling price is $6.99. As a promotion, the restaurant is selling advertisers at cost, so break even, do not make any profit. At which rate of markup? Should they promote the price? Again, we're going to do some analysis. Appetizers, 280. Okay, so we have cost of 280, markup of six marked up to 699. So we're going to use some examples from the last section. In this case, we have again the reduced price is equal to the regular price minus or times. D. Our reduced price is going to be at cost, so this is going to be $2.80. Our regular price is going to be $6.99. And we want to find the rate of markup. So again, we're going to solve for D. And SR over S, we're going to solve for D. So 1 minus D. And then we say D is equal to 1 minus SR over S. Plugging the numbers in now, D is equal to 1 minus, the reduced price in this case is going to be 280 because we're at break, break even, $2.80. The regular selling price is the amount before we do it, $6.99. So our discount is different between 1 minus 280 divided by 699, 59.94%, so we'd say promote at 
We also might do a combined problem where we're going to take some ideas from another chapter and put it together. So here are choices market. We get a loaf of bread from Terra Breads for $3.75. The bread has a markup of 60% cost, so we're looking at stuff from the, the markup chapter, markup section. Daywell bread is marked down with a $2 off sticker, so we're going to get a markup based on percent and a markdown based on the cash amount. Uh, what is the rate of markdown? So we're going to calculate the rate of markdown. So first of all, we say, first of all, we find a selling price. So we buy the loaf of bread for $3.75. So our selling price is equal to cost plus the markup. Our markup is 60% of cost. So selling price is cost plus 0.6 of the cost. So our selling price is 1.6 of the cost, which is equal to 1.6 times 3.75. So our regular selling price is going to be 1.6 times 3.75, six dollars. Second thing we're going to do is the day operator is marked down with with a two dollar off sticker. What's the rate of markdown? Well. And our discount is equal to S minus SR. We need to find the sales price. Reduced price is equal to the regular selling price minus the discount. The reduced price is our $6 regular price that we sell it at. Minus the $2 sticker. for our sales price of $4. So what rate of markdown is that? Okay. We're just going to take the markdown compared to the price. So the other way of doing it is the rate of markdown is equal to the discount over the regular selling price. The rate of markdown is equal to $2 discount over the regular selling, pr over the regular selling price of 6 Rate of markdown, 2 divided by 6, 33.3%. So what is the rate of markdown? The rate of markdown is 33.3%. So that's markdown, sales prices. The keys here are its equation. The general equation looks a lot like trade discounts. Instead of using n, use l, 1 minus d. We're using the reduced price equal to the regular price, 1 minus d. Same mechanism for doing it. We calculate rate of markdowns, cash amounts, and do the slightly combination of changing one language into another. That's markdown. Do much questions? We'll see you in class.